Speaking of big hitters, we'll also see Paul Buentello here December 8th. He has an amazingly inspirational story. Paul has been willing to do whatever it takes to follow his mixed martial arts dreams. Heavyweight Paul Buentello is a real-life Rocky Balboa drawn to fighting at an early age. His journey from the dirt fields of Texas is as uplifting as it is unlikely. You know, that started back, you know, way back. When I was like five, my mom threw me in boxing because I was too aggressive. You know, she wanted me to, to exert myself. And I went to a first fight and I saw how the people were just going nuts and going crazy. And I'm like, man, this is what I want to do. I want to try this. And before you know it, I got into the fight. It was in a bull ring, it was in a fairground area, the dirt floors, ring in the middle, you know, and got in there and had fun and it was just, it was just so crazy to go in there and you actually get to beat somebody up for 500 bucks and the crowd loved it. With a move out west, Paul's only chance to get the proper training, it was his wife who pushed the current strike force superpower to leave his family behind to pursue his dream. To make gains in this sport, I had to leave Texas. I had to leave them at home and drive up here and, you know, didn't know what I was going to do. Didn't know what was next for me. Sleep on a couch, sleep in a warehouse. And uh, that's a big sacrifice. I left everything at home. And it broke down to where uh, she goes, if you don't leave, then we're done. Because I'm not going to be the person that held you back from your dream. And from that point on, I'm like, well, you know, if you're going to leave me, I better go fulfill this dream. And it's on! A big exchange right again. A giant of a man with seemingly no fear in the ring, Guantella was a self-admitted train wreck before his fights. You know, my mindset, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't know. The reason I'm scared is because I don't know what's going to happen. I can't predict. I can't see the future. And, uh, you know, the endeavor, you don't know what's going to happen. It almost feels like I don't want to fight, but I do want to fight. What makes Paul special is that he's got an incredible heart. In the gym, Paul is probably the worst I've ever seen, but when it comes to fight time, he's the best I've ever seen. He performs. He, uh -oh. You know, what always kept me motivated was I never wanted to be that guy, that guy that could sit on the couch and say, oh, I could have done that. Oh, I can do that. I can whoop him. I'm the guy now. I'm the guy that people are looking at saying, oh, I want to do that. I want to dream. And right now I'm living that dream. You know, there's probably 30, 40,000 people want to do what I'm doing. You know, I'm not athletic. I don't got the athletic build or the look, but I'm fighting. I'm living a dream, having fun with it. Paul's story, truly inspirational. He really is a feel-good fighter in our sport. Living his dream, and a lot of mixed martial artists are living their dream now, doing martial arts for professionally. So you see Paul Buentello here at HB Pavilion. This is 2007, but we hope you'll join us here December 8th, HB Pavilion, Strikeforce Triple Threat. For Frank Shamrock, I'm Brian Weber. We'll see you next time.